What's going on guys? This is Yugiverse here, coming at you with a little bit of a dual video that I decided to record locals during a tournament. Uh, it was really, really stupid. I think I busted out the spirals and then uh, my friend Josh here, he actually decided to play his deck that he was testing for a, a regional. I don't remember which one it was though. But yeah, without further ado, let me introduce my coming out to Nistro as I activate terraforming on the board. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is kind of like, uh, you're, you're hearing the inside of Marcus's head here, um, <laughs> because he's both uh, playing Spirals here and uh, he's uh, commentating as well, so um, yeah, you get to see the duel from uh, both sides here. Yeah, so I searched for a resort, um, I, I already know that I opened up the terraforming and I, I, the look, quick fix in the machine dude, but I already know I opened that, but, so I think but, I won. But, 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 but before we continue, like, yeah. did it have to be a pink spell room? Uh, I unfortunately <laughs> did not get my metamats ground in at the time, so I was borrowing a friend's spell ground. Ah, okay, so... Because I'm still waiting on the, like, design to, to look good enough to be able to be presented on, on streams like this, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you had to put it... You had to... Fuel spell into the extra monster zone. That's, <laughs> that's I'm, I'm just used to that because I'm not. I'm used to the token not being there as the as the zone marker. Everybody getting their zones in place. Yeah, I think this is the newer build that I've done with um with no utility wire and um the foolish burial goods. I think that's the most consistent build until we get double helix. Sounds legit. Yeah, so I rode up for super agent and I resorted for quick fix. I think now that in hindsight I should have done drone first, so that way I could have a guaranteed super agent. But I think it works out either way because I did open machine duplication. But but super agent first turn is is, is there really? But it set it sets up the combos because all the combos rely on super agent being on the board. I, I don't know, man. Quick fix into machine dupe looks, looks solid enough to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I don't I, don't I, mean, I know I'm gonna search for drone either way, uh, and then that's gonna set me up for super agent. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't play Spiral, so, you know. Oh, you'll see them when Circuit Break comes out, definitely. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'll definitely see more. I hope that's good. Double Helix is not a secret rare. Look, Double Helix... Is a good card. Like, like Konami and Double Helix are going to have a nice long talk about it. It's rarity, okay? Hopefully it's an Ultra. Oh, Konami is Hopefully definitely... Hopefully it's an Ultra. Whoa, that is, that is wishful hoping there. Oh, yes. It probably might be a secret. I might be sad. Nothing I can't avoid, though. Um, but yeah, I'm, go I'm overlaying, not overlaying, linking into Mrs. Radiant, and then I'm going to activate Big Red to bring back the Quick Fix and Search again. Like, you see, like, this is why I think Spirals are just made for Link Format. Like, the, like, no other deck has as much versatility already, like, using Links. Like, just being able to machine dupe and then, uh, Big Red and then just go off even more. Like, I, I like, that's just my opinion. Yeah. Call me a... No, 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 it's a, it's, a, it's a good theory, it's a good theory. So, uh, Josh is just reading the, the effect of Quick Fix, making sure that... Yeah, yeah, he, he he's he's looking for that once per turn. <laughs> he, he won't find one here. He, he's looking for that once per turn. Yeah, no, this is not the first time he's actually played against Spirals, but I think he was just admiring the rarity because I bumped up from rares to supers. And I topped another terraforming off Princess Sprite. That's, this, that's it's not, not healthy. Fair, man. It's not healthy. I, I, I don't know what I was doing. I was just... It... it uh, have you heard the OCG ruling about uh, Spar Resort? Uh, no, I have not. Tell so me. apparently, um, you can't send back uh, extra deck monsters as a cost for Spar Resort, for as a maintenance cost. Because it has shuffle into the deck. I, I, uh, yeah, it's, I, could, I could be aware of that, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just uh, people in Zodiac had argument about it. So. I, I could think that would be the correct thing, yeah. Although I think I do that at least once or twice in this, <laughs> so it, it's it's cool. It, it's it's just, it, because it's I a, haven't had any any flags about it. Yeah, as, because during things, it's a OCG ruling. Like it, it, it's not something. So I call it wrong. I called I think monster because unfortunately I didn't know what he was playing. and He knew what I was playing, so I had a little bit of it up in the edge there. We still got like what, like six cards in here? Uh, Seven? Yes. <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> oh my god. So man. one of them is super agent, the other five I don't recall at the time. I mean, even though you did use up your arms, I'm still having six cards in here. And this deck just goes plus for, for ridiculously free. Oh, I, and I have something sleeper. Oh, never mind. So I, I have the um, the drone, the super agent, sleeper, last resort. So this board is just nice. It's a nice board. I still have four cards in hand. And three of them are spells. No, five cards in hand. Yeah, you had seven. Yeah, seven cards in hand. Oh, God, this is cancer. 
and then I shuffle back the quick fix as a maintenance cost for Shadow Resort. So the ending board really isn't that strong, since I didn't call it right with Super Agent, otherwise I would have done so much more. I mean, you have Sleeper on board. That's, that, that's all once per turn though, he can get over that easily. So he activates Zephyr Providence, and I think he's going to search for Oracle to then search for Zephyr. Okay, yeah. so if he's playing Zephyr, I'm, I'm not going to have to be for him. Uh, you don't want to stay late in the video then. Uh. Um, but you know, he, he searches out, I believe, Zephyr. Yes, he does. So his, his deck is actually really interesting. Uh, he's playing Metal Foe, Zephra, True Dracos with Perform Hell Odd Eye Synchron splashed in to be able to have a little bit more utility, which I actually had to test out on my own and it's worked really well. The only problem is that with that many engines in the deck, it can brick yeah, quite I, a lot. I, I, I like the Dino version better. So Zephra, I don't have a Ghost Ogre. I don't main my hand traps. So I just let him go off, do what he wants. I mean, there, 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 there's no point to sleep. Right? Sleeping there would be a waste. Yeah. He, so has... he he sets um, Zephyr New to the extra deck to make him a scale 7. Although I think, judging from his hand, he bricked 2 because he drew pseudo space too early. Pseudo space? Yes. Is that uh, the field that's, spell? Uh, that's the field spell replacement, yeah. Why does he play that? I believe he plays it for Diagram. So he dark holes the board. Uh, Mrs. Radiant's gonna add back herself because I can't really. Or quick fix. I got quick fix in there as well. Just trying to judge my options here. Do I add back quick fix or do I add back Mrs. Radiant? So Sleeper can destroy the last resort that he was right? Yes. Alright. So he's gonna set a card. I think he actually bricked. I think he might have bricked. No, he's gonna tribute summon for a Ignis. He, uh, Dynamite Knight, I yeah. apologize. And then the True Draco trap card can't really resolve because he can't target or destroy the sleeper. And I believe I'm still bigger than the Dynamite in battle anyway. I don't know, like, to, to me, playing True Dracos and Zephyrs in the same deck just seems cloggy. It seems weird. Cause, like... So I destroy the Divine Strike, which he had played for the um, Zephyr New Nine Pillars play. And then he sets another return, and I pop his, his face up return and then his dynamite knight. Yeah, I think he opened a little bit lackluster because I've seen the boards that he makes with a good hand and he just didn't have the good hand. I mean, he, he, only he, had... I mean, he had Providence, which sort of helped him thin out his deck to not draw them so many bricks, but... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna chain Max C to the to the Drake Drake's return, or I'm not. Yeah, I don't think I am. So yeah, so he does. I'm gonna chain Max C, so I draw the card. So why was the Dynamite destroyed? Because I popped Dynamite and the Tricky Storm Sleeper, and then he chained Dynamite Knight to activate another return from the deck. Because he was tribute summoned. The Dynamite Knight was tribute summoned. All right. So I'm gonna one for one into Globe. Oh no, I see the shenanigans I'm doing now. I forgot I did so much. So. I'm gonna either make a Nat Beast or Formula Synchron or both this turn. He gets low glow bubbles on the board now. Oh yeah, you got glow up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got a drone in hand. You got a super agent. I have I have a drone, a super agent, and I'm searching for master plan. Because if I'm gonna summon drone, then I'm gonna get super agent on board that can discard the master plan for the quick fix, knowing that we don't have double helix just yet. A little bit longer. Yeah, I mean Yeah, so drone. Drone touches his deck. Oh, he doesn't see. Well, that's a little bit of a misplay to be there, but it's okay. Now, he gets to see one. I probably won't let him have that. I mean, I don't think he'd want him to have too many. Unless he, he, unless he really bricked, I don't think he'd want him to have too many. So, I, I know one card is doing. I forgot what the other two cards were, but I think they were both monsters. So, yes, there was two me there were two Metal Foes monsters. One was the Bismagir, and the other one was Tuning. So, I put the Bismagir at the top of the deck. And then I call monster or Majesty Maiden. So Super Agent touches board. You put Majesty on top of the deck. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I I would have put tuning over that honestly, because that can search masterpiece. Majesty tuning can search masterpiece. No, no. Uh, oh, Majesty Maiden. Yeah, Majesty Maiden. I mean, I I think I'm just too sure that I have game, so I got a little bit cocky here. So then I boost the sleeper by five, ten, fifteen hundred attack because he has three cards on board with Jones effect. So sleeper is now. 
4,400 attack, 4,300 attack. Would of destroying return at that point been a better play instead of popping the uh, Zephyra? I mean, I was trying to see if he could, if he was going to force out the Providence. But then, since he had no monsters on the board with that, I don't think it would have mattered. I don't know, because I, I, I would have thought, you know... Like, like there, were, there were three ways to really go about that board, either to pop... The... Because, uh, like, I, like, like my idealism is that, okay, so the only non-spiral monster I have on my board is Glow Up Bulb, and I could bring that back. Oh, well, he can't even target that now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, that's not quite nice. So, he has a chance to respond, I don't think he takes it, so I detached the... Oh! <laughs> I top deck the third field spell! Oh my god, man. This is this is silly. This is shenanigans. So yeah, Princess Sprite's on the board. Uh, he couldn't chain with the Dynamite Knight because the Dynamite Knight was not tribute summoned. So, I'm basically going to do just loop double quick fix. So I'm going to discard a quick fix to summon quick fix in the graveyard with Super Agent on the board. And then I will be able to just keep making level 1s, keep making rank 1s, keep making link 2s. It's just... This deck doesn't stop. It's just... Oh, man. Alright. I don't think he has a way out of this. He has one card in hand, and he's gonna search for Majesty Maiden. Then I Big Red for Master Plan. And then I'm gonna activate Master Plan Spec to search for Spiral and Assault. So, looking at the OCG builds for, for the Double Helix Turbo, I'm not seeing a lot of people playing more than one assault or any which is interesting because in the like in the sort of grind game you do want to draw cards with its effect if it destroys a spiral no if a spiral monster you just you control destroys opponent's monster by battle or opponent's card by a card effect you can draw a card but then it only summons spirals from the hand if it's in the graveyard it doesn't summon them from the graveyard like rescue so yeah i'm going to pop his dino knight and his return I'm gonna draw a card, and then I'm not sure why it didn't pop return, it, because then he would have had to clear the princess, right? That would have freed me up a lot of space. Oh no, never mind. Just send it to graveyard with the um, last world's effect attack directly, and then I foolish burial goods to pitch rescue. And I think I'm gonna link something here again just to be able to get the mass plan off the board, even though it wouldn't be able to get its effect to search for a spiral monster because all the spiral swords have been used. So have you ever bricked with the Spiral Trap card? Uh, Rescue? Not really either. I've never drawn it or I've discarded it with Quick Fix's effect. Alright. You know, like, uh, because uh, I know like some people just avoid me in general. Like, I, I guess it's because you play goods so that makes it real good, but... I mean, other than Punk. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that it's a bad card. If I, if I happen to draw it, if I don't discard it, I'll just set it and then I'll, I'll use its effect occasionally because I will have to drop Spiral Monsters from my hand. It just maintains the card advantage game. That's all yeah. that really matters in Spiral. It's one I have a lot of card advantage. So yeah, I link some Mr. Radiant. Uh, the zone is pointing to Massive Planet in the middle zone, which is kind of annoying for me. Uh, I already big redded this turn, so I have to remember that. Do you have glow up in the zone? Uh, yes, I do. I don't really think I remember that, though. So that would be game if he has no other response. Yeah, so push for all that damage. <laughs> he just goes from 8,000 to zero. I, I love the guy who... <laughs> yeah, shoutouts to, to Jonathan Ma. Um, he's our he's our editor. He's our visual designer. And, <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, transition into game two. Um, he chooses to... He chooses to, to go first. Because he sees what the, the deck does going first, and it's just complete shenanigans. Yeah, I mean... I think against Spiral, uh, you really have to just main hand traps and go against Spiral. Like, there's not really much main deck power that stops it, other than hand traps. Like, Reaper will definitely stop that in the mirror match. So, Spiral players, pick up your Reapers, low key. <laughs> I mean, everybody's uh, gonna pick up their Reapers now since it's in the Mega Tens. Yeah, it's not even a really expensive reprint. It's only yeah. like what three dollars now. Like five dollars. Like, yeah. USD three dollars. Um, people keep telling me not to recommend DD Crow, but I still say DD Crow is a great side card for Spiral. You can stop the quick fix in the graveyard, and you make them lose two cards. 
I mean, I, I guess Quick Twist, Didi uh, uh, Crow, Didi <laughs> yeah. uh, Crow is still an amazing hand shot. It's just, uh, it's, it's not. It's kind of gone under right the radar now. just because of True Draco and Zoo being the two biggest decks. Like it was real big around where Metal Foes and Paleozoic were. Because you stopped the Metal Foes fusion and the Paleozoic trap cards from spawning. Yeah. I might have to pick up a few DD Crow ultis just to make sure I have them. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't say that out loud. There might be a buyout. <laughs> There's already a buyout. How's the House of Champs already featured it? Oh, man. Well, lucky if I can find any, like, moderately played. Have fun with your $30 DD Crow. They're not even 30 Right now, they're not even 30 No, yeah, how much are they right now? Uh, just for videos, like, 15 16 Just recently checked, like, this morning. But yeah, anyways, so he activates Oracle of Zephra, he searches for uh, Zephrath, he sets the Zephyr new to the extra deck. I think standard plays, right? Right. Uh, sure? Depends on the Zephyrs in his hand or the other pendulums in his hand. I think he has a Metal Falls monster in his hand. Yes, he does. So he's going to... He has two Metal Falls in hand. So he's going to activate Silver, the, the level 3 scale 1. So he Pendulum Summon 2. So he Pendulum Summon Zephyr new to the extra deck and then Perform Pal Odd Eye Synchron. I think the Perform Pal Isengrand is low-key the greatest, <laughs> the greatest tuner ever made. Oh yeah, definitely. Searchable by tuning, searchable by Skyrus, searchable by Joker, it's just an all around- Searchable by Sorcerer too, man. Oh right, forgot about that. And if we still have Monkey Board, be searchable by him too. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, too much, <laughs> ask for too much there. Yeah, mon Monkey Board, uh, although I don't think Perform Pals would do anything even if Monkey Board got back, uh, that boy stay banned. Like, there's just so many cards that make Odd Eye Synchron searchable. It's just an all-around great level for two, for Synchros as well, and then especially summons monsters from your Pendulum Zone. Like, I believe that card is really underrated in terms of just being able to play through the game and then just bust out really great Synchros like BLs and Metaphys Horus, which I think he actually does this game, so I'm a little bit really shook by BLs, because I can't pop BLs by card effects or kill it by battle. Yeah. I believe BLs was played against True Draco because Masterpiece had no out to it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it, it would seem so. Say, he makes BLs because Formless, uh, Formless Synchron, Odd Eye Synchron is a dark tuner. And he used all, all Oracle's effect to, to, to stack his deck. So he decided to add Dynamite Knight to the top of his deck. Not sure why he didn't add Max C to the top of his deck. Would have been a lackluster but better play. Yeah. Majesty made him. I guess he has like some True Draco spells face down, not spells, traps, excuse me, uh, traps face down so he can tribute summon that search masterpiece and then tribute summon that on my turn. Honestly, I've never seen this build of Zephyr play and uh, I don't know. You don't think it's really... It's not that, I, I don't think it's bad, it's just... You think it's interesting? I'm, I'm just not a fan of the Metaphos. You think they do too much for what they're designed to do? I step? think... I, I think they're they're not worth the risk, in my opinion. Be, be, being being a Dino Zephyr player. <laughs> <laughs> well, being a Zephyr player. Be, be, we'll being have... a being a Zephyr player who relies on Denglong. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think Metaphos are worth the risk. But if Denglong ever got hit, I would definitely consider this deck. Mind you, they do have their own little neat interaction with Oracle Zephyr. I believe it has one effect for each type of summoning, save links that you use a Zephyr monster with. Am I not mistaken? Yeah. Yes, I know that the Synchros, if you use a Zephyr Monster as a single material, it stacks a card from the green deck to the top of your deck. Uh, I believe the if you use it as a fusion, it uh, for some reason I'm an idiot and popped Metaphor's Combination, which lets me search. But I, I forgot what fusion. I, uh, I, fusion, I, only I know... think it special summons a monster from your hand because the Shadals have Zephyr things in there too. Yeah, um, the them. only one I know is uh, Exceed, where you draw one and then drop one. I know, um, Rituals let you um, banish card in the field, or destroy card in the field. I think it's banish. Yeah. So, you banish, you stack your deck, you draw a card and drop. And then you summon from hand. Yeah, so... I don't think he actually uses either of those effects, except for the, the Synchro material effect. He Divine Strikes, my quick fix, which I still think was a really bad idea on his part, considering that he knows I have Super Agent on the board. Yeah, you know, Super Agent was real easy for you right there, since you knew at the top of his deck. Since he, so like, he, he, he pretty much stacked So I dropped Glow Up Bulb. Uh, Oh god! <laughs> I think I opened Quick Fix and Machine Dupe both games. This deck is so silly. It really is. 
I just want to see if I open the machine dupe. If I know if, if I open the machine dupe and he doesn't have like an Ash Blossom or Maxi, I think I might have won this game too. I honestly forgot. Like, the funny thing is, like, um, everyone who's a part of the Yu-Gi-Oh! crew, they know about this video, and they just wanted to watch it because they wanted to see how quickly Spirals can OTK people. Well, OTK people. Oh, apparently. yeah, I mean, we, we definitely saw in that last game. Where <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it, it really is pretty easy. Just because of uh, Spiral's ability to... So, yeah, I opened the machine, dude. Oh, oh well. God. Well, you, you might as well scoop here. This is, this uh, is like... Yeah, I, I'm, he he, know, he has a response. I let him have the window for the response. Uh, well, he already used his Divine Strike, so I don't know if he has another one. Or, or... Uh, he could have a Nine Pillars, but then that wouldn't really do much. Cause he, he doesn't... No, yeah, he doesn't have anything on the board. Yeah, yeah the, and then I think I drew the other target in hand. Oh, nope. Nope. Too free. I, I just... Uh, this this deck literally cannot go minus. Like, I feel like that this deck, in its in in like right now where it is, if it had the bulky legs, it could compete against like. I don't want to say full powers. Either. I don't want to say full powers. Well, who knows? Uh, you just might be able to. Uh, if you had double helix, uh, I feel like in like in link format, like full power zoo, I think you would have a chance against him. Well, I will have to do uh, some testing with double helix. Uh, unfortunately, dueling book is the only uh, simulator right now with double helix available to play. So maybe I'll have to like, just I don't know, print out a proxy and then I mean, use that. Un unless you have like the Spanish Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, like or the Japanese one. Yeah. I've seen um, other YouTubers who do YG Pro replays. They've done uh, the Spanish uh, YG Pro, but I just I don't like it. Yeah, it's like I I entered this Spanish Facebook group trying trying to look for it, and I'm, I'm and then like halfway through like looking for, it, I'm, I'm just like, why am I here? <laughs> like I'm here just looking for a program to simulate a card game to test blue cards before they actually come out of the TCG. <laughs> what am I doing with myself? But I, I still haven't found this. I, I just stuck to Dawn of a New Era. Oh yeah, and on that note of Dawn of a New Era, um, you might all want to consider being a little bit more careful on Dawn of a New Era. We all know about the the hack that they apparently had. Yeah, it's, it's just people trying to grab attention, trying to be like a, a anonymous or something. Mm. So yeah, search for Sleeper. I think I already know I have the setup in hand, considering that I searched twice for Quick Fix. So how do you get over this Beatles is, is what I'm curious about. I believe I just beat over it. But it, it can't be a short battle. Uh, fully armed says otherwise. Oh, well. Oh wait, no, cause I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna punch something else by battle and then that's gonna banish the Beatles. Well, let's see. Or I'll just attack them directly. Oh, well, yeah. Cause that, that circumvents the Beatles' effect to gain attack. I just swing them directly. Yeah, that BLs was a thorn in the side for me. Wasn't really sure to go about that. Oh, he does a response to that. He's gonna divine strike again. Really? Oh my god, this this seems like a waste. <laughs> Honestly, in in my opinion. So then I show him another one, and he's just like, oh great. Yeah, he saw me search for one. He thought that was the only one I had in my hand. I guess it wasn't. And then I soul charge. I let him have a singular turn. Well, he only has like three cards. Well, technically four, counting the Oracle. Yeah. It doesn't really count as a card then. Yeah, it, it it doesn't do anything. Not now. Like so, you... then I search again for Quick Fix. I Soul Charge for two, so I bring back the Master Plan and the Quick Fix. I search for another Last Resort. Uh, I don't even know what I was doing. I was just so out of it. Ah uh, man, Super Agent's in the wrong zone, man. <laughs> I know, man. I'm still... it, because if Super Agent was in like we, any other zone, you'd be able to make a proxy dragon. Feels game. bad. Yeah. So fun fact, I actually have made an unkillable board with uh, Decode Talker, Proxy Dragon, and then Proxy Dragon was pointing to Sleeper and Super Agent, both of the last resort. Oh man. They could not destroy my board. Kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish. I don't think he mains Kaijus. I don't main Kaijus either. 
I don't really see a point. Well, yeah, I, I can't blame you. It's in, in it, this is like a like a combo deck. You can't really main ka kaiju in the combo deck like yeah, that. Well, I'm I'm so used to Dino where you know you have your searchable kaiju's. <laughs> yeah, everything's just convenient. I, I remember you said that um that your entire deck was supposed to be searchable. Yeah, uh, in uh, Zephyr Dinos, man, it's it's just beautiful. Oh man, it it really hurts to see Proxy Dragon in, in that zone. <laughs> it really does. I think I actually have a way to like circumvent this. Because I think I'm gonna make Ghost Streak Dulahan using the two quick fixes. Ah. Well, I mean, at, at least you're still getting your zone dwarf. Yeah, I know right about now, um, uh, our my other co-host, um, Brian, he made a joke about Senate Switch, and I'm like, stop. Please, please, I, don't <laughs> I don't need to hear this right now. I mean, Senate Switch with Proxy Dragon wouldn't be a bad combo. That, that would definitely be pretty hype. Especially right here. I suppose. I mean, then again, I don't think there's a zone you could put it in where super I could move the super agent over one zone. Oh yeah, it, like, but before you summon out proxy dragon, that would yeah. Be. I don't but but then, uh, the other monster would have been in the way. Yeah, the quick fix. Uh, the, the 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 master plan or the quick fix. Yeah. Yeah, quick fix. The master plan was already used for uh, the link summon of proxy dragon, and then I'm a brave child and link summon again into deed code talker. I mean, at this point, you really have no opposition, so. Uh, it looks like he's wasted all of his pendulum monsters and yeah so he was trying to remind me that um one of the quick fixes is going to be banished off super agents of, off super agent off of um, its own effect and he was trying to say that the one that i just used was the one that was banished but i think he might have been right because the quick fix at the far end was the one i soul charged I mean, it doesn't really matter because i'm just it's the same degenerate thing so i let him search again hit combination both times in the same game bro like i i honestly don't think it's a big deal <laughs> like he he, it's a, he doesn't even care he let his, his metal force monster go to the graveyard oh yeah <laughs> yeah it, you know playing pendulums honestly can be like it's pretty easy to, to forget that they go to the extra like i think we're all just so used like to, uh, oh yeah now see now he remembers yeah right? especially when you know like you you're having this like 10 minute long turn and then he, he's just sitting here bored you know, he's like contemplating me. his like, life, <laughs> contemplating life choices, and you, you activate a Rota. Why? Why do you just wait this long to activate Rota? I think I drew Rota off the assault. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is fair. I, I don't think that this is right. I don't think the spiral should be able to do this. Do you play Castell? No. Ah. Uh, so so <laughs> it, it's, it's like a lot of people just like go of Castell, man. Yeah, Castell and Dweller, both of them. Well, Dweller, I think... Dweller, can... I know uh, ABC players still play Dweller, maybe because they have the space for it. But, like, Dweller, I think, is something that's definitely going to uh, go back up in use after Zeus leave and True Dracos. Yeah, definitely. So, so will Lightning, because I know Lightning's not being used against True Draco because it'll pop Lightning on something. Yeah. I mean, but if you could bait out Masterpiece before... Hopefully. Yeah. But then they'll just do the stupid damage step, um... Apocalypse uh, thing. Well, they they can't because lightning's effect. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess if they have another true Draco in hand and they have one of the traps, then you know you're screwed. But so yeah, so <laughs> he's not gonna break my board because Sleeper is pointed to Proxy Dragon, and no matter what he tries, he just can't kill my board. Nothing on my board is dying. Ah, oh, that is, that is crazy. Okay. So Proxy Dragon tries to destroy Sleeper, and Sleeper can't be destroyed. Meaning, nothing can be destroyed. Yeah, I believe I'm gonna have a. Yeah, so I have a I have a judge check on that, and he sort of rules in my favor. Although I'm not sure he was correct. So you're both double checking now. I think that Josh should be checking the last sword because that's making the sleeper not be able to just be destroyed by like artifacts. Because uh, like if it says destroys in instead, like I think that's something that's a little more like passive. Like it doesn't have to be destroyed to protect. The, the other mon the other cards from being destroyed. Yeah, so yeah, the judge is just thoroughly explaining. Also, I realize now with this setup that I will be able to infinitely draw cards because Spiral Mission's assault condition is destroyed at the third end phase after activation. If it can be oh, destroyed <laughs> If it can be destroyed, I'm gonna just keep drawing cards. Oh wow, this 
this is, I, I think I've stumbled upon some cancer here. I, I honestly <laughs> hope I honestly hope this gets ruled against. Because I pray that this should not be able to be done. Yeah, yeah this, this should never be able to be done yeah, in any circumstance. Quite the and then they can't even target you either. They they can only target Proxy Dragon Deco Talker, but then I'll just tribute like I don't know, the super agent yeah, for a like, Deco Talker's effect. It's like what do you do? This is have you ever seen a board like this? No, I, I, I absolutely have not. This is this is a, a, a whole new level. Link monsters, man. <laughs> they make the game balanced, right? Uh. At least Cyber Dark Impact is no waste now. To an extent, they make it balanced. But I feel like there's nothing he could do here that really. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna just pop his um his metal foes monster or i'm gonna be an idiot and not pop his metal foes monster yet or only his metal foes monster <laughs> so you're gonna do that and then i'm gonna draw a card for assault i don't even think that it matters anymore what else i do the bls is the only thing that's gonna get him some leverage Like, you, you are at a point in the game where no card you control can be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly don't think, uh, unless, unless he drops that kaiju hard, there, there's no... On what? what? On what What did he drop it on? Uh, the, the proxy dragon? Or the, or the deco talker? Well... <laughs> or the uh, sleeper. Damn. Or the super agent. There's four things he has to kaiju. I mean, I guess he can... Uh, yeah, he, he he would need like multiple kaijus for that. <laughs> he would need like kaijus and yosenjus to be able to deal with that board. He would need like a lava golem. <laughs> <laughs> he would need a spear mode. Oh yeah, spear mode would break this board. Spear mode would just hardcore break this board. Oh man. And he'd be a dick and put it in that four, in that fourth monster zone right where Bielsa is, and I'd just be like, God damn it. That would just feel so bad though. Like, he could leave the Eagle Talker there as it is, and it would be completely shitting. Because he, because Deagle Talker is already 33, so it's bigger than BLs. Uh, like I, I just feel bad for his Zephyr player now. Like he's not even allowed to play the game anymore. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he, speaking of, he did punch into Deagle Talker with BL, so BLs is now 33, same Deagle Talker. Then I'm going to. Yeah, like all, all you have to do is just let, like, j just make Super Agent keep attacking directly. And... Um, one more thing I mentioned. Um, last resort's other condition is send another card. You control the graveyard to have the monster attack directly, and it's it doesn't say face up card. That's uh, the deal breaker for me. It, I can just set rescue and then send it directly with assault, or not assault last resort, and then I can just reborn a monster with rescue's effect. It's this deck is too much. It sounds like giving up on this deck. Doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> giving up on the oh no no, no you're DC. definitely not. It's especially not this these those uh, OCG results. Uh, that we've seen. I don't think anybody's giving up on Spirals just yet. Uh, yeah, so in case for those of you who don't know, um, Spirals have taken 32% of the OCG metagame well, the weekend of their release. Yeah, it, it was... It, uh, man. I, I, I didn't know Double Helix was that much of a problem. Like, that it just made a whole new meta in, in Japan. Like, Dinos were a good chunk of the meta for a yeah, good it's, it's like, six months. Yeah, they were somewhere near around like 40% and then like ABCs we're seeing play for as like well. two weeks. Yeah, it's it's like, and then and spirals then just spirals come in, just, come just in. bitch slap the entire the like, entire meta game. In in one weekend of their release in Japan, they did more than the entire year they've had in America. Just because Actually, of double Actually, come to think about it, they did more than True Draco and Zoo upon their releases. They yeah, were I'm, they were more popular than Zoo upon their release in OCG. In the OCG, probably yeah. Yes. In the TCG, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, they came out first, but no. Yeah, but they in only the, had, they in only the TCG, every everybody was expecting an emergency ban list of Zodiac. <laughs> and then we we got it. No, we we, we didn't get it. We we got Rat hit down it too. That that's all we got. We also got Norton Band Turret Top End, not Turret Lunin. Yeah, because the, there was a plus five combo. That's there was a plus eighteen combo. Oh my. God. Nowhere near as plus a Spiral. Spiral goes plus eighteen like it's nothing. Well, in Link format. But before in Master Roll three, they got they got destroyed. Yeah, I feel like Spirals were just that deck that needed to be in Master Roll four. So yeah, I hit him for a good lot of life points. He goes down from seventy seven to two thousand in God. one hit. Do you really stack all the attack onto one monster? Yeah. Damn. Pretty much. <laughs> I've actually gotten it to where I've stacked Super Agent up to. 
24,000 attack. How, how do you even stack that much on a single? I keep looping drones, and he had five cards oh, on the board. Oh, yeah, drones. Drone is not once I, per I, turn. I forget about drones. Drone is not once per turn, and it's during either player's turn. Oh, so that's... imagine sitting there with a 24,000 attack super agent that cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects or targeted by card effects. How do you continue to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Without a kaiju, how do you continue to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, I forgot to put my ringer down, so that is my mistake, everyone. True Draco, uh, Heritage, and uh, Abyss McGear. And then uh, I'm gonna pop Abyss McGear and the Heritage. I don't really care if he gets cards. I really don't care at this point. I'm just sitting at too strong of an advantage. I think he's actually like going off to the side and writing down like, oh my god, I hate this kid. <laughs> like it sucks because he and I are on the same team and he knows that I have to like really practice with this deck. Because believe it or not, a lot of people like don't give spirals the credit that they're due. Like they have a lot of card advantage and resource management that a lot of decks right now don't really have. Yeah, it's like like Zoo. Like, if you don't have the My Body's a Shield of the Pianissimo, I give you one board wipe and you're just like, oh. And then not to mention that even with Whiptail, most cards beat over all the zoo cards because you can't target us except for Resort. Yeah. I mean, so he's going to smack into Proxy Dragon. He's going to deal me quite a lot of damage. And that's a debate on whether or not I'll let Proxy Dragon get destroyed. So I'll just take it. I'll let Sleeper get destroyed. Can't see making air quotes, but get destroyed. <laughs> now, I activate rescue, add back a spiral. Uh, at his end phase, he added uh, metal foes off of Bisman Gear. I add back quick fix. This deck just this, this doesn't is, stop. This is too much, man. <laughs> it, it does. Like you can hear Nisho here just like losing his mind. Oh my god! I don't think he's ever seen a deck as degenerate as this. I mean, I've I've been around for Dragon Wars. I've been around for Full Power Pepe. All right. You were you around for um for. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I was around for Full Power Infernity as well. You played Full Power Infernity. At one point. Yes. But that was when they were synchro. Oh, yeah. I... When, when Soul Charge and those whole like, looping level chain and everything... That, 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 was, that was when I stepped off the Infernity train. I'm like, dude, this is too much. <laughs> I can't... I mean, this. not even... Um, not even Shadal, so Triple Soul Charge and Triple Moral Attach was able to keep up with this. You have your spiral result. <laughs> <laughs> I but, mean, I guess. But, but, more attack. Yeah, more attack doesn't target, but it's like. Bring more attack back to you. More attack is a balanced card. Oh, besides no. the point. No, no, besides no. Besides no. the point. <laughs> non targeting destruction is. It's, it's sort of needed at this point. Honestly. Because he has problems with this, is I can't tar be targeted anyway. You're going to have to non target and destroy me. Uh. Well, that, but well, that means that there's justification for Kieran. And then, I just, I just give. He just gives it to me. Uh, I, well. I hit his BLs for a good chunk of damage, and he just he can't really play. Well, uh, <laughs> I. Long story short, spirals, Ash the machine duplication. Valor, you can't even Valor because different resources <laughs> you can't target. Uh, Life lesson, kiddos. Ash the machine dupe. Yeah, that's. That, that's definitely lesson number one. Lesson number two is uh, don't play Spiral. And lesson number three is uh, <laughs> burn every copy of Double Helix that you get. <laughs> if you want to see the yu gi -Verse cry. I, I mean, uh, honestly, it, it doesn't even look like Double Helix matters to me. Right now. And then yeah, right, right now, I think it, it's just because True Jaco and Zoo are still around that Spirals can't really take the spotlight. Just but, yet. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, like Spirals are something... I mean, I, I don't know, it, like... It, like, I kind of feel like I'm bandwagoning just because I'm seeing the OCG results, but it's like, seeing this duel just kind of just makes it real, real clear to me that Spirals are real stupid and definitely um, have the potential to be me uh, meta relevant. I mean, <laughs> uh, if you ever want a really, like a really nice quote unquote rogue deck to play, you can always play Spiral. Uh, well, there might be a Super Agent buyout soon, so. There are probably already uh, <laughs> Yeah, just. Just uh, be careful about uh, those super agents. Uh, you're definitely gonna have to spend an extra bit of cash on those. Uh, but, get um, them, get them. You should have gotten them yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, without without any more 
annoying talking. This has been the Yu-Gi-Verse. And, Guest uh, starring Nistro. Yeah, this was Nistro here. I didn't get to say my intro, because, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace uh, be out. sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I, I, I never say that, so it, it, it just feels weird. To, it's all right. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, yeah, guys. Yeah.